Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to select this wolf that has a lot of fur on the sides to make it look like that and from that we are going to draw some fur and at the end I'm going to teach you how to make this simple photo manipulation. When we are dealing with animals and we have to select them from a background and to use them in another background or composition, the biggest problem of selecting an animal is the fur. As you can see, it's really difficult to select it. First of all, we are using the pen tool. You start by picking a side and then use the pen and select all the parts of the subject. All right, after you use the pen to select the subject, just uh, press A to get the path selection tool and right click on the screen and choose make selection. And then just press the mask. As you can see, it looks really uh, bad. The uh, sides of the wolf, they look too perfectly cut. So we need to uh, adjust the fur. The way I do it, it's creating a new layer. Let's call it fur. We are going to use a fur brush and let me explain you how to draw fur on the sides of the wolf. We are going to start with this part and I'm going to explain you the process and then I'm going to speed up to show you what we can do with the whole image of the wolf. First of all, you take the brush tool, select the fur brush and then you start to choose a color which is close to the original fur of the wolf you can do that by pressing alt and or option and then just click once on the screen and select that color be sure that first of all the flow is set to 100 and the fur layer is on top of your subject and then you can start to paint as you can see it will start to paint some fur on the sides of the wolf. Usually it's not okay to use only one color so you have to press Alt or Option many times and just select different colors to better blend in the fur. As you can see I do that by pressing Alt and then I'm just drawing on the sides of the wolf. Let's zoom out. It already starts to look good so we can continue by doing the same thing. When um, you are doing this just change the colors many times so just press Alt and take that color when you are close to the legs or uh, to some parts where the fur shouldn't be that big you just lower the size of the brush and you do the same thing again so just make a lower brush size and just paint slowly with that brush it's a really boring process but for me it's really important because i can keep a part of the original fur of uh, the animal that i want to select and it looks much much better with this method than without using anything so you can continue in doing the same thing and in uh, some parts you need to adjust the angle of the brush because as you can see here we have this angle and uh, in some parts for example in the front we will need another angle so just right click on the screen and play with uh, this circle and we will add another angle of the brush I'm going to do the same things now and I'm going to speed up the process for a bit so so you can see what I'm doing.
So this is the selection after the pen and this is with the fur that we just draw. If you want to erase or to hide parts of the fur, uh, you can add a mask and with the same fur brush you can take the black color and then you can start to erase parts where you think uh, you draw too much. All right, I think now uh, it looks good. You can use uh, this uh, wolf in your uh, photo manipulations. Let me show you one example. We are breaking this tutorial to show you that I have a website also, which is mr23.com, where you can find my portfolio, my work, everything that I've created until now. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, it's mr23design, and also you can contact me to help you with your manipulations. Now let me show you how I use this wolf to create this lovely photo manipulation with a kid. I've used a photo of a little girl from Pexels and then I used uh, our wolf that we already selected before. Then I kept the same for that we draw here where the legs of the wolf are intersecting with the sand. I used a mask. Um, so I have both the fur and the wolf in the same group and I added a mask using this mask icon. I added a mask to this group and then I use a, a simple brush and with the black selected I paint it on the pose of the wolf and I make it look like the pose are in the sand. Alright, next thing with the clone stamp I added a new layer. So I created a new layer, I press Alt, I uh, selected let's say this rock and then I just draw on top of the pose to make them look like they are blending in the sand better. So this is that layer with the sand. Then I added small shadows to the wolf and be sure that the blending mode is set to multiply. This is the bigger shadow which is really opaque because as you can see the little girl doesn't have really that big shadow. So this is the shadow of the wolf. This is another shadow that I used which is uh, at 100% opacity and then I added a small adjustment layers. First thing I added a hue and saturation create a new adjustment layer hue and saturation and then uh, make it let's say white and then press Ctrl or Command I and invert the mask. Then you can use the, the brush tool and with the white color selected you can paint with white and as you can see it will add that adjustment layer to our wolf. And then I added a curves adjustment layer the same process so you just add a curves all right be sure that you add this curves adjustment layer only to affect the wolf you just press alt or option and then it will add this adjustment layer inside your wolf group then i adjusted the curves something like that at the end i inverted the mask by pressing ctrl command i and with the white brush white color selected i use the brush and i just painting on the wolf's face i use this adjustment layer to make parts of the wolf to be more lightened. At the end I use camera roll filter to make this uh, picture a little bit warmer. So this is a really simple way of uh, selecting an animal with fur and you can use it in your photo manipulations for example. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be in touch with my latest tutorials. See you next time.